Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to be... Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates. Good. You are clean and good to go. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Yates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. And not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, and have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. Makes me sentimental. Nothing quite spoils a party like a guest of yours. If I'm going to be one of these heralds of yours, you need to start letting me in on a few things. Okay. So who's this bull guy? Thank you. <laughs> no, no problem. I just never framed an urban legend before. Very post true. Yeah, I like it. What's that noise? Keeping it real. Hello there. I'm well Corval Black. I'm on the tour. Right, Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy it. One of the most gifted. Well. Burnwood and Vidal. 
And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. At a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. The man didn't get there and the man. That was a bit rude. Yeah. Does that mean no more <laughs> One. What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialized friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. You want to get on the bad side? Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste them on. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me over a bridge. How's that? Mm. Three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Oh, yes. Oh, that's over. Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring him here. Now, let's see. Lucky black color. Good size. Large and firm. Seeds brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Sweet. Floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. Inform the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a turf to contend. Will do. Now. For four decades, I served the law. I served something far Yo! Ah, my fellow wine lovers. Hello! Welcome to Vineda Yates. I do apologize for the delay. The Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I... Uh, we're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. Hey. So, how do you like <laughs> Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor. 
while our prize winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on distilling every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state of the art, including an industrial sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on... I have a question. It's... Perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this grape crusher? Well, as the name implies, it crushes the distilled grapes into a thick pulp or mast by a powerful rotating cylinder. She is one of the most important appliances in our production pipe. Have you had any workplace accidents? What? Fall into the vat and get crushed to a pulp? You'd have to be a bona fide idiot. Waste of space, if you ask me. <laughs> yes, well, fortunately, we have had none of that. So if there's no further questions? Huh? No way. Someone else supposed to be doing this? What happened to your colleague? Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room, if you'll follow me. So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. Enjoying yourself, Mr. Black. It's all very inspiring. I could see you retire to a place like this. Winemaking speaks to your meticulous nature. Surely you don't plan to be Yates's fixer forever. I have been told recently to think about the future. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his cave.